painting, some people say, reveals the subconscious. Mm -hmm. What we're going to do is try to find out what your subconscious is actually saying by doing a game of word association. And doing this is going to be Eleanor Johnson from Mervish Books. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're just going to throw out a couple words at you, and you guys will play the words back and forth to try to find out what is really at the heart of the paintings. What was really going on? First word is circle. Earth. Water. Movement. Jumping. Kangaroos. Boxing. Oh, lovely. <laughs> each painting has a, has a title. It does. So how yes. is that, so the title, has, is that what you're, you're just trying to describe it afterward, after the fact, trying to say like what it was, or, or is the title rooted to maybe a true sense of what's inside the painting? The title, in this series, the, the title in the parentheses, they come uh, from the source image that I started off with. So, for example, Devonk number one is one of the, these two, um, is uh, called such because um, Van Doesburg did a floor pattern in the Villa Devonk in Austria, and I took those patterns um, in these paintings and integrated it with another, pa another pattern. So that's why these are called that way, but not necessarily because they mean to me you know, it's just as a point of reference more so than, you know, the actual meaning of right, the painting right, or, right. or, you know, what have you. Crazy Hokusai. Um, Mount Fuji. The waves. Um, clouds. Blue. Kimonos. Red. Black. Patterns. Crows. Butterflies. Birds. Flying. Migration. Nomad. Ah, oh, there you go. <laughs> we got to the point. These are abstract paintings, mm -hmm. but uh, as, as you explained, um, they're trying to tell there is a story behind them. And there. Yes, I mean, it's, uh, I was trying to create some kind of visual narrative, uh, but I don't think it's exactly like there is a story behind them. So you probably. Slightly different, but yeah, something so like that. Yeah. So you probably have a pretty interesting interpretation of the word story. Uh -huh. So the word is story. Um, one after another. No, I can't say that. Um, consecutive. Chapters. Numbers. Alphabet. Letters. Calligraphy. Dripping. Brushes. Paint. Abstraction. Dispersion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dispersion. Dispersion is the word. What do you think of dispersion? You think that's a good word? I think it's a wonderful word because things going, and I think it's not of their own accord, and yeah. mm -hmm. that is sometimes nomads. There seems to be a pattern beneath it, and there is a pattern, but while it's happening, it's, you don't feel it inside. The, the nomad is in their own tracks. So. Word Association, we're here with Ginny Yu and Eleanor at David Mervish Books. This is for Open Book Toronto. Thanks for watching.